it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door and barn door treasures on eBay and digital Diane designs on Etsy for digitals only. So today I'm back working on no sew journals and the first one we did was this one, um, the no sew no spine journal and we'll do. Um, I may have already released the video um, of where we decorate it, but we're going to decorate this one. And then today, I know I told you in this video that I would do another journal, um, a no-sew journal with this one, but it's going to have a spine and it's going to have this cute little window. So let's just get started on this one. So the first thing you want to do is you want to cut your box apart. Um, you can use any kind of cracker, cookie, snack box just something that's you know got the four sides so what i always like to do is i look inside and i can see here where the seam hopefully you can see that can you see the seam of that box in there so i always like to just kind of try and pull it apart right there okay um i also need to open up the bottom so let's do that okay and once you get it all opened up you have something that looks kind of like this so you're going to want to cut off all of this here and above you're going to cut off this piece here you're going to cut off these flaps down here and this little flap over here so um, it will leave you with this panel this panel and this as your spine so let's get our box cut and we'll come right back okay so i have all the flaps cut off and we're left with this here so you have this panel your spine and your back panel and if you want to even these up you can I don't really worry a whole lot about it because I try to go with the lines anyway so it's generally pretty straight now here's the problem we have our window here but it's on the bottom and I don't really want my window on the bottom so how do we fix that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over like this and I'm just going to kind of fold it back on itself like this Fold it back on itself like this. And you see, I need to trim this up a little bit, which I will do in a minute. But now we can use it like this and we have our window on the front because all of this is gonna be covered anyways. So we're not gonna need to do anything other than just, you know, put our whatever papers we're gonna use um, on our, our, our cover. Um, so you can just decorate your cover with whatever kinds of papers that you want to decorate it with. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get mine decorated because that's not what this video is about. I want you to, I want to be able to show you how to do the, the no so signatures and I do have two signatures. So go ahead and get your signatures put together. I have two signatures that I've already measured so that they will fit in the journal and again I don't mind mine hanging out so if you mind that just make sure you measure it correctly so um, I've got my two signatures waiting to go into the journal but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here I'm going to decorate um, the cover and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the no sew part okay so we have our cover finished or finished as much as I'm going to finish it for now. I'll probably put some more decorations and stuff on it um, once I finish it. But for this video, we just need our signatures. Okay, so our signatures are going to fit in just like this. And that's going to be super, super cute. So, it's really, really easy. Um, basically, you do this the same way you did... Um, or the same way we did the last journal that we did together on video, um, the one with no spine. Um, but you just have to put a hole in your spine as well as in your pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little clips and I'm gonna find the center of my signature and I'm gonna make sure all of my goodies that are inside my signature are kind of in the order that I want them. I'm just trying to make sure my pages are kind of scattered out the way I like for them to be. Okay, that looks good. Everything looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do is, again, we're going to push um, push our signatures. We're going to kind of flatten that spine and push everything together so that it's all lined up. I think I need to pull this down a little. 
Okay, and then while I have that pinched together like that, I'm gonna put a clip on this side, and I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna put a clip on this side. Hopefully y'all can see okay in the camera. All right, and then we're gonna grab our crocodile, and again, if you don't have a crocodile, you can just use a regular um, hole punch. <laughs> couldn't think think with my words okay so um again this um idea is kind of inspired by alex um castro ferreira from instagram and youtube and also um, by heather at ruby and pearl xo so i'll again i'll try to link them below um all right so we're just going to take our crop it out and i want it on the biggest one and I still have my setting all the way to the back so that I can go as far in as possible. And then we're just going to slide right up in to our signature like this. Okay, and we want to make sure we're in the center. And you want to make sure this butts all the way up to your pages. And, you know, you can, you can do it according to however you want to do it. But this is just the way I'm doing it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and punch my hole here. Just like that. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to, again, make sure everything's kind of pushed down into the center. And I'm going to take my hole punch. Make sure I've got the right side, okay? And I'm going to slide it in. And where I'm sliding it in is it just at the crease of those pages where those pages are folded in half and then I'm going to go ahead and punch my hole there as well okay now I'm going to go ahead and take um, I'm going to go ahead and lace these so that it kind of holds them together for me and the holes don't get all um, willy-nilly and then you have to do one sheet at a time and I thought this time instead of trying um, the seam binding I was going to do the seam binding but I have this pretty lace that my sweet friend Nan sent to me, and I have quite a bit of it, and I thought it would be pretty with this cover to try and maybe use some lace. So, I haven't done this yet. I haven't done this before. So, we're going to try it together. All right, and the easiest thing to do is just to kind of fold your lace in half. Excuse the glue on my hands. Um, try to fold your lace in half. Okay, and then I'm just going to take it and push it right down in that hole. And if you struggle with it, just take um, your sharp tool, whether it be an awl or a weeder or whatever you have on hand, and just push it through those holes until it comes out on the other side. And then you're going to want to, again, pull yourself enough through that you have enough room to tie your bow. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off. A piece of my lace and I'm gonna give myself some extra to play with but I'm gonna go ahead and cut that at um, at an angle can y'all see that okay um, so that it goes through the little hole a little easier okay so then I'm gonna take this and push it down through that hole and I'm still gonna fold it because I still think it will be a little easier to get it through there if I fold it okay so then I'm just gonna take my little sharp tool and push it on through you can take a needle or a pen or whatever you have okay and then I'm just going to pull these out to where they're kind of even and then I'm just going to straighten this up a little bit just like that and I don't want my lace twisted up so I'm just trying to fiddle with it until it gets kind of straight coming through there and I'm going to fiddle with it on both ends okay so I'm just going to tighten it up. All right, and then we're going to take our little clips off because now our signature is held together by our lace. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lay this. Now, listen, y'all, this is just the way I do it. You can do it however way it works for you. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But I'm an eyeballer. I don't measure. So that's just how I function. <laughs> So I'm going to take my laces and I'm going to pull them this way. But I still want to make sure that I can see um, where my holes are. Okay. So basically I am going to, let's see, my spine is, 
it's about two inches wide so I'm gonna put these in here and give them each like an inch um, to, to grow so to speak okay so now what I want to do is I want to line this up let me see if I can get you a little closer I think that's better so I'm just gonna line it up right here and get it as straight as I can with the spine and I'm gonna take just a little pencil and I'm just gonna mark myself a little dot here where this hole is and a little dot here where this hole is okay and then I'm just going to if I can find my holes I'm gonna punch them so I'm gonna find my hole punch let me get all the junk out of that hole punch there we go now I'm thinking that this is not gonna go all the way up there it's not hmm let me think I'm such a dork I have the longer I have a longer crocodile so we're just gonna use it okay I'm trying to get the camera angle where you can see okay so my little dot is right here so I'm gonna slide this under here and I'm gonna line up my dot with let me get you pulled out a little so you can see what I'm talking about okay hopefully you can see that a little better okay so here's my dot and I'm gonna line it up with the back hole which is the larger hole and I'm gonna go ahead and punch that through okay and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side I'm just lining it up does not have to be perfect and I'm gonna punch that through so now we have our two holes okay now at this point you can choose whether you want to put eyelets in these I don't generally but you can if you want to if you want that look um, I'm just gonna leave them like this because I like the raw look so there's our holes for the first signature okay okay get you a better angle here so then I'm gonna bring my signature back over and again I'm gonna take the ends of my lace and fold them and just poke them right through that hole and a lot of times you can you'll be able to grab it without having to use your little tool and you can leave it a little loose until you get both of them threaded through okay so I'm just gonna thread push that one through there and pull okay so then I'm just gonna pull my signature fairly tightly I close my journal up tighten it up a little and I think this one I'm gonna tie at the top okay so I'm gonna go up here and just tie myself a little bow and you can you can fiddle with it and make it pretty later um, I'm just trying to get it tied and I want it tied fairly tightly and you can leave your bows big or small. You can leave extra laces. For now, I'm going to leave that until I decide what I'm going to do with it. But now you have your first signature tied into your journal. And then we're just going to do the same thing with the second signature. Okay, so it'll give me an opportunity to show you one more time how I did it. Move everything out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and get everything in my signature lined up the way I want it like this piece here I would like for this to slide up a little and maybe this little piece to slide down a little so that you can see the layers that's kind of how I like to do mine okay so I've got those lined up let me just check everything and make sure it's where I want it everything's looking good so far so good Okay, and then we find our center okay I'm gonna scoot this and kind of center it in the page a little again I'm gonna take my signature and push down so that everything's down into the center fairly well and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna clip this side bring in my hole punch I'm gonna slide it up from the bottom now sometimes when you do this when you open it up to punch you can see a little bit of a pucker hopefully that's not too close where it won't fo um, focus for you but you just want to make sure you can always you know loosen your clip and push it down again flatten it out so that you can get it in the center 
We're going to take our hole punch and go right here in the crease and punch. Then we're just going to turn it around. Again, I've got a little bit of a pucker when it's flattened out, so I'm just going to loosen this one. I'm going to loosen this one, and I'm going to pull them all together like so. I'm going to put that right there, and I'm going to bring my hole punch in and punch one more like that. Okay. I'm going to make sure my holes are lined up, and this one moved a little, but that's okay. It'll just be a little bit more fiddly, but I'm going to go ahead and thread my lace through. So I'm just going to poke it down in this hole. I'm going to get my little tool, and I'm going to kind of poke sideways, not straight through, because then all you're doing is just poking through your lace. And if you have to jiggle it around a little, that's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this on through. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my lace so that I have a little extra. Cutting it at an angle so that I have a little point. Just makes it a little easier when you have that little point. Okay, and then I'm going to thread this one through. And again, I'm just going to grab my little tool and just kind of push that through. And then I can tighten this, okay? I think I probably got way extra lace, but I'm okay with that. All right, so I'm just going to take both of these, and I'm going to kind of pull them tight. Take my clip off, because I don't need that anymore. And then again, we're going to pull our journal up now. I want to make sure I've got this right side up. <laughs> we don't want to put him in there upside down. Okay, so I've got him right side up. I'm going to bring my book over. I'm just going to fold this signature back, and then I'm going to give myself, you know, maybe a half inch or so on the side and I'm just going to lay my journal or the signature into it. Now I'm going to try and line up this signature with this signature so that it's fairly even and it is and I think I've got this you know about a half inch over just trying to kind of line everything up and then I'm going to take I need to flip my signature back over because that's where I'm going to be able to see my hole. So I'm just going to flip this back over this way a little. Trying to make sure it's even. Okay. Then I have a hole here, so I need to punch here. And I have a hole here, so I need to punch here. So I'm just marking a little teeny hole there. Okay, so I'm going to move my signature out of the way. I'm going to kind of scoop my lace over to the side from that other signature and I'm going to go ahead and punch these holes again. Now I'm not going to do this on video because I would have to re-angle the camera and everything so give me just a second I'll get them punched and come right back. Okay so I've got my holes punched I'm just going to bring my signature in and I'm going to go ahead and fold my lace and push it through the hole here. And I should be able to just grab it on the other side without my pokey tool. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Grab my lace, fold it, and push it through that little hole. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take both of my laces. I'm going to pull this one up and over so I know I've got the right laces. And I'm just going to pull those tight. Okay, I'm just going to pull them good and tight right there, and then I'm going to turn this up so I can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to bring this up here and tie my signature in. And again, I'm just tying it in a bow, and like I say, I can decide later on whether I want to cut the strings of these bows or leave them. I'm pretty sure I'll cut them because that's big and bulky and in my way. All right, so I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna scoop this one up a little so that the bows are even. Okay, and so I think what I'm gonna do, I really kind of like. Let me get you a little further out. Okay, that's better. I kind of like how these bows are, but I don't need all of this length, so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off some of that and I'm going to trim, it, trim them at an angle 
and it doesn't matter really to me what angle they're at. I just want them to be pretty, but um, if you want to, if you think you're going to want to add um, signatures in here, or if you're going to need to tie it to loosen it up so that um, the signatures can grow a little more, just keep that in mind when you cut your lace or trim it off, you know, to make sure you leave yourself enough. But there we go, guys. So that is the No Sew Journal with a Spine. And now you have a journal that you can decorate and have fun with, give it as a gift or what have you. So there is my version of a no-sew journal with a spine. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.